My new book is about how to, in part, how to organize a city to address questions of um, ethnic and religious uh, intolerance. And the first thing I, I'd want to say about that is that this is not a problem which can be solved as though it were a disease and you take a medicine and the disease goes away. It's more like a chronic condition. It's always in the collective human body, uh, intolerance and inability to live with others. And sometimes social relations can put that intolerance in remission. But it, it's a fantasy to think that there's a cure for somebody like Wilders in some form, shape or form, people like him will always be with us. So it's a question of what can repress the symptoms and, and um, uh, make as long as possible this bearable. For me, I think the answer to that is lots of, uh, this is my own answer to it, physical uh, association, physical mixture not necessarily verbal agreements on, oh yes, we're all going to be tolerant or we all share the same values, but just living physically in the midst of people who are very different, which comes back to the issue of cities. Because a city that segregates people into communities where you're living, your neighbors are like yourself, is a place that breeds intolerance. Whereas a mixed place where you're with strangers who are unlike yourself, it seems to me is, and I try to show in this new book why it's so, is a place in which some of the symptoms of intolerance can, can be minimized. It's why I don't like a lot of community-based thinking, which is about getting the community together very cohesive and so on. People in cities should have multiple identities. 